Start. All right. Well, you, you ran the 40 today. What yep. was it, what went into that decision? How did you think you did? Um, went into the decision just I want to put myself in the best position to run the best possible time. So didn't feel like I had that last week. Uh, knew I was going to do well on all the other stuff. So plan worked. Came out here. I think I ran a good time. I, I still don't know it, but I think I ran a good time and uh, did really well in the position drills. And I think I did well. Your legs were just fresher after all. Yeah, just you know, you, check, you stay up late, wake up early multiple days, get off a flight, sit down, stand up, all that stuff. Um, just felt like I have a better uh, chance this weekend. I did that. Now, what's this process like? It's, it's interesting. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, it is a lot of work, a lot of brain power. But, uh, you know, not everybody gets to go through it. So you got to remind yourself that you got an extreme opportunity to uh, accomplish your dream. And that's kind of what I keep my mind on. So um, you got to find the joy in the little things. And uh, I think a lot of us have managed to do that so far. Okay, when a team's looking at you, what what are they getting in a player in on the field, off the field, and carry on? I mean, I think off the field, I think that's the least thing they have to worry about. Um, nobody Nobody's ever heard of me being in trouble, planning to keep it that way. So off the field is the easy part then, in my opinion. <laughs> On the field, uh, I think the film shows it for itself. Uh, I do a lot of different things. I do a lot of different things well. Uh, I'll go out there, I play 100% no matter the situation, no matter how I'm feeling, no matter the game. And so I think they get someone who's dependable. Karyon, what's been some of the points of emphasis in your training so far? Uh, I, was work, I was focused on the 40. Uh, pretty much, I, I mean, the rest of the stuff is football. I've been playing football my whole life, running, catching, cutting. That's stuff that everybody knows how to do. Um, so I was just working on these combine drills, you know, five to five, all that stuff. Put a heavy emphasis on that. Um, and I think it really showed off or paid off, and I'm happy with it. What were you better wanting to run the 40? Four or five or, or, or lower. Um, I can get the four four, what you do? Um, but four or five couldn't be anything above that. So uh, that, that was my goal. Uh, that's what I've been working on for three months. And just had to come out here and prove it today. Was that just a goal you said personally or something based off of what you've seen out there? No, nah, that was no, no. Nah, nah, I said that goal was for, for myself, for myself. Um, that's just the speed that I feel like I, that I play at. And, uh, so that was kind of my own personal goal. Other people run with other people run. What's your preparation now, leading up to the draft? Now I'm back to being an actual football player. You know, not working on those drills or anything. Now I'm just working on bettering myself as a running back, uh, cutting, being in shape, uh, working on durability and flexibility. And so now it's back to being a normal football player. You like all the conversations that you've had with the team so far? Yeah, I've loved them. It's, it's cool to get to know all these coaches, and you've been seeing these guys on TV for however long you've been playing football. And you hear about them, and you always look at them as, oh man, some big, some big, uh, just unfathomable person. But then you meet them, and you're like, oh, this is the company that I'm in. So it's cool. It's cool to meet them and talk football, and you find out that you know a lot more than you think you did, and it's always cool. Do you, have a, do you have a story of somebody that you looked over and you all of a sudden you realize you're, you're next to? I walked in. I walked in. Uh, so my dad my dad's been a big Tampa Bay fan for a long time. And so John Lynch is San Francisco's GM now. And so I was sitting there about to meet with him. And uh, he walks out and he looks over and he's like, oh, carry on. So I'm like, in my, in my brain, I'm like, this dude knows my name. Like, I mean, just I, I grew up watching him and Mike Allstar and all those guys just. And now you get to shake hands with him, talk football with him. And I mean, it was, and then I got to meet John Elway and he introduced himself and I'm like, I, you don't have to introduce yourself, dude. You're, you're just, everybody knows who you are. And um, so just though meeting people like that, it's just crazy. It's really, it really is crazy. You've talked to all these teams in the combine here. What's one of the top things that bring up to you? Like maybe they're concerned about or they question the most about? Uh, I mean, I think everybody always goes with the durability question. Um, and so we talk about it. Really. Uh, teams are a lot more willing to listen and understand than people outside of football are. Um, I mean, bottom line is playing SEC running back for three years, I missed three games. I mean, that's that's bottom line. Uh, not many running backs can say that to come out of this league. So we, we talk about it, we diagnose it, and we move on. Okay. I know this is off topic, but what do you think about the guys Auburn's got coming back and running back? I mean, it's five guys that say it's wide open. Oh, been yeah. like that in a while. It's wide open, but I, I mean, I think in my own personal opinion, I think we have a chance to play four or five. And I mean, game in, game If all those dudes stay healthy, I think we've got a chance to play four or five running backs the whole year long. All those guys are very talented. All those guys are willing to work. 
And so you've got a group, like it hasn't been like that since my freshman year. I mean, we've had three or four running backs on scholarship, and that's been, and one of us would be hurt um, at different times. So I think they've got a real chance to play four or five, and I, have, I think they have a real chance to be really good. So maybe something more along the lines of, I hate to say it, like Georgia. Yeah, yeah, it's something, something around. I mean, I mean, I don't care. I mean, it's something to say. They've got, they've got a stable. Um, I, I think we can, we can get to something like that. Um, it's just one of them eventually is don't have to step up and say, "Hey, I am the lead dog." Uh, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing, not no disrespect to the other ones because, like I said, they're all really talented. But one of them has got to step up and say, "Hey, I know that the coaches count on me 100 percent of the time." And that, I think that's where the real competition is. How are you going to spend uh, the draft days? Stay at home. Oh yeah, I would either I'll be here with my family or I'll go back up to Huntsville. Um, haven't really made that plans because I've been talking to my mom yet, so you know how that goes. But um but I'll be doing something with parents and family and uh, just having a fun day, you know. Um, that's a day that we can all remember a lot of my friends hopefully be there uh, next year. You know, we can come back and do theirs too. Kieran, how do you, how do you want to be remembered by Auburn fans? I think the way that they are gonna remember me. Um, I brought a lot of heart to this, this school. I brought a lot of heart to this football program. Uh, nobody can ever say I went out there and didn't give it 100%. So, uh, and to me, that's all that matters. You know, maybe could have won more games, ran for more yards, but giving giving my all for this team, this this Auburn family, is that that's the biggest privilege I've had. Very I know you probably already asked about this. We were talking about the movement, 40-yard dash when you when you crossed your first time. How did how did you feel in that moment before you knew the time? I felt pretty good. Um, I felt pretty. I just felt like I could have finished a little bit better. Um, so I knew my start was good. I knew my twenty was good. Just had to finish, finish to just go a little bit extra mile. I think I did that my last time. Um, I didn't. I didn't ask them for. I, I was tired of stressing over forty. Honestly, I, don't, I just wanted to run it, get it over whatever the time was. That's that's what it was. Um, so I just had to finish better, and I think I did that the second time. What they tell you? Oh, I didn't act. Like, yeah, yeah, I, did, I yeah, still I haven't. No, so I if still I told you like you ran a four point eight nine, you freak out. Hey, four point eight nine. I don't play with no four point eight nine, so that's all that matters. Do you want even want to know really? No, nah, I'll find out when I get yeah. on the phone. Okay. Yeah, I'll find out. It'll be all right. Yeah. I ain't you gonna did, die until then. You did. <laughs> you ran very well. Yeah. Know, so that's good. Then. Yeah. That's nice here. <laughs> Celebrate for that one, but yeah, I didn't. Like I said, I was tired of worrying about it. Run it, get it over. With. When you put up the numbers you did at the combine and the drills you did, other than the bench, I get it. You mm-hmm. arms, I understand. But when you put up an in, in, the vertical and in shorter and Saquon, and or, uh, mm-hmm. what was your reaction when you start seeing the results? How they compare? How they match? I already knew I could. I already knew I was going to do good at that stuff. I wasn't worried about that at all. I've always been explosive. I've always been able to jump. So, uh, you know, just because other people weren't expecting that out of me, that didn't mean I didn't expect it out of myself. So, I did. I was going for forty-two. Um, I was really going for 42. Um, and then if I had if I, if I had another jump, I probably could have got there. Um, but it is what it is. 40 is okay. So I already knew I was going to get something around that area. When you have a, I think you have the biggest wingspan mm-hmm. among any running back at the combine this year. How much added be- benefit do you think that is for that guy coming out of the backfield catching? Dude. I guess uh, I'm not. I'm not a coach, so I don't really know how they view wingspans. They might view it as a bad. I, I, I really don't know. But um. You know, like you said, I guess catching balls, um, if that helps, I guess uh, pass blocking probably helps um, a little bit. So um, I think it probably does have more benefit than harm. Um, could affect the bench press if they want to view it that way, but I don't really care. Uh, I'm not going to be bench pressing anybody all day, so it is what it is.